Hi, I am Nettie from Party Fowl Pet Supplies, and in this video, I'm going to do a product rundown and review of shoes. Usually, the first question I get um, is, "What are duck shoes for?" Um, these shoes are intended for waterfowl, like ducks and geese, and um, and chickens, as an aid to help recover from injury or illness or infection. These are a medical item and are intended um, to be used in, in helping get that fowl back to, back to health. These are not really a fashion item and shouldn't be worn just for fun, um, but they should have a use. Now, there are three different styles of shoes. There is the closed toe duck shoe. Then there is the open toe duck shoe and then chicken shoe. Now, these shoes are not just limited to ducks, geese, or chickens. I've actually made shoes for a turkey, um, for peacocks, flamingos, and even a, once a lancer falcon. And what these shoes do is they help protect and cushion and just kind of hold bandages to a foot while getting better. So. I first came up with the idea for shoes when my duck Ming Mei had contracted Bumblefoot and it was really hard to keep her foot clean and to keep it bandaged. So I tried to figure out a way to keep her bandages on her foot to keep that infection from coming back. Um, she did have surgery to have the bumble or the infection um, removed from her foot and it was really hard to bandage it. Um, so I made the very first duck shoe, actually, out of a beer can cozy, which had this um, insulating foam that I had pretty much deconstructed and put back together in the shape of her shoe. Now, shoes have come a long way since then, um, and so now they are not made from beer can cozies. They are made from a material called neoprene. Neoprene is a closed cell rubber, and it is um, laminated with nylon fabric. And it's the same kind of material that they use um, in making wetsuits. So let me go over the different styles of shoe. This first one here is a closed toe duck or goose shoe. And the reason why this shoe is used mostly for helping out infections is because it's completely closed off. And that's to help keep moisture, dirt, poop, um, and otherwise gross uh, germs or infections from getting to a foot. This type of shoe also provides some cushioning on the bottom for softer, tender feet, um, especially ones that have had uh, infections or wounds. And these shoes also help just hold bandages to the shoe so a, a duck or goose is a lot less likely to pick those bandages off. The next style of shoe is the open toe duck and goose shoe. And the shoe is pretty much just like the uh, closed toe style, but they have three holes in the front. And these three holes in the front are for their toes. This is particularly useful for animals who um, are outdoors, animals who might swim with the shoes on, or, um, or even some roosting ducks such as Muscovies. So, this style of shoe is not really recommended if your duck has a current open wound or infection as they're not fully protecting the foot because it does have these open toes here. So this shoe tends to work out well for animals who need that extra cushioning or protection from rocks or debris um, while still protecting the shoe but not without completely closing the shoe off. The next style of shoe I got here is a chicken shoe. Now, these shoes um, can work for other animals, um, like turkeys or guinea fowl, um, but these, these ones in particular are for chickens. You can see it's, it's much like the open toe shoe, but it has these three openings in the front for chicken toes. Now, all shoes have a little hole in the back for their back toe. Most breeds of ducks, geese, and chickens um, have just the one toe in the back, so you only need to worry about that hole in the front. Um, some breeds do require a special design, um, which is possible. I can definitely help you guys in making a style of shoe that will work best for your pet. Now, 
For the shoes, I would like to go over what the different parts are. So shoes are all made by me on my sewing machine. And there's four parts to a shoe. There is the top of the shoe base, the sole of the shoe, the foot strap, and the ankle cuff. So the top of the shoe is meant to protect and cover the top of the foot. It also has Velcro, so that way it can be opened so the foot can fit inside. It is attached to the sole of the shoe. The sole of the shoe is um, a grippy, rubbery, and texturized version of the foam. And what that does is it helps protect the animal from slipping or falling. And then the foot strap is connected to the bottom of the shoe and wraps around to the front of the shoe to be velcro to help keep it closed. And then connected to everything else is the ankle cuff. Now the ankle cuff has velcro on the front and then a little velcro tab on the back. And that you would wrap around the ankle and attach like so. And just like I had mentioned before, has the hole in the back for the back toe. Now, shoes are definitely a great thing to keep in your first aid kit because um, you never know when foot issues or injuries might come up. Um, however, these shoes do not replace good vet care. Um, most vets that I've talked to really like this style and design of shoes um, just to help that, that animal recover um, and to keep the moisture, the dirt away from the shoe and keep the medicine and the bandages on the shoe. But if your vet doesn't want your animal to wear the shoes, you should always listen to what your vet says first. Um, these are not a replacement for good vet care. Um, these are meant to be used just as an aid to help those animals um, get better and recover and get back to their normal healthy selves. Now if you feel that you have an animal um, or a bird that requires a different style or a different shape of shoe, uh, please feel free to contact us. Um, I can definitely make custom shoes. I've made lots and lots of special custom designs, um, for, for especially for fowl who are missing a toe or even missing all their toes, missing the webs. Um, maybe they had a foot amputation. Um, I've also helped um, make shoes for animals who have deformed feet or feet that, that flop. Um, definitely contact us and let us know as much information about your pet's feet as possible. Um, we need uh, pictures and measurements and we can definitely come up with something to help your animal and its foot health needs.